Good morning, St. Philip's family, and I would like to be the first to wish you a blessed celebration of the Feast of the Ascension, which is today, Thursday, and we will be celebrating that great Feast of the Church this coming Sunday. So it is entirely appropriate that we have a great hymn today that was written specifically for Ascension Day back in 1866. And this is one of my favorite hymns. It has profoundly moving words and a great deal uh, to remind us about the glory of Jesus Christ. And the hymn has an interesting story. It was written by a man with the unlikely name of W. Chatterton Dix, D-I-X, who was born in Bristol, England in 1837. And unlike many of the hymn writers that we have heard of, he was not a saint, he was not a clergyman, he was actually a manager for a marine insurance company in England. And he had a very successful business career, studied business in school, but he was by avocation a hymn writer. And oh, what a hymn writer he was. He wrote many beautiful hymns. One of my other favorites that he wrote is that beloved Christmas carol, What Child Is This? And when we sing this great hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, that he wrote back in 1866 for Ascension Day, he was writing specifically for a communion service and writing a hymn to reflect on Jesus as the victim and the priest that we talked about in our devotional last week. Listen to the words of this hymn. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, his the scepter, his the throne. Alleluia, his the triumph, his the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, hath redeemed us by his blood. That glorious salvation that Jesus wrought. And Dick said that he was inspired by Revelation 5, 9 uh, for that verse. And then the second verse is another just beautiful one. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us, faith believes, nor questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him, when the forty days were o'er, shall our hearts forget his promise, I am with you forevermore. And of course, he's referencing here Jesus' ascension, forty days after Easter, and that beautiful promise that Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. We are not left alone sorrowing as orphans, and the promise of Pentecost is coming. And that great third stanza, Alleluia, bread of heaven, thou on earth our food, our stay. Alleluia, hear the sinful flee to thee from day to day. Intercessor, friend of sinners, earth's redeemer plead for me where the songs of all the sinless sweep across the crystal sea. And here he's talking about the great promise of Jesus to be with us, his real presence with us, and the sacrament of communion, to which we look forward that day when we will be able to receive that again and have that tangible sign of Jesus' presence with us. The fourth stanza, Alleluia, King Eternal, Thee, the Lord of Lords, we own. Alleluia, born of Mary, earth thy footstool, heaven thy throne. Thou within the veil hast entered, robed in flesh our great high priest. Thou on earth both priest and victim in the Eucharistic feast. This is a profound verse that you could preach lots of great sermons on, but it is full of the theology of the Incarnation, of that wondrous miracle of God taking on flesh and entering into his own creation and becoming one of us and then entering into the Holy of Holies, the great high priest, God himself, but very man, robed in flesh, offering himself as the sacrifice and being also 
the priest celebrating the sacrifice. And then the great rousing climax of the hymn on that last stanza, Alleluia, sing to Jesus, his the scepter, his the throne. Alleluia, his the triumph, his the victory alone. Hark the songs of holy Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus out of every nation hath redeemed us by his blood. Jesus is the king. He is the one on the throne. He is the one whose scepter reigns. He is the one who has triumphed over sin and death and the grave. He is alone the one who has won the victory. And the songs of praises of his redeemed people thunder like a mighty flood because Jesus has redeemed us out of every nation by the power of his blood. I wish you a blessed Feast of the Ascension as we sing Alleluia to our King and Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.